Hey guys everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel. So in today's video what we are going to do is that we're going to set up our Google search console as well as our Google Analytics for our Wix website. Uh, this is not going to be specifically for SEO only but if you want to keep track of your stats on the users that are coming through your site giving you the ability to kind of navigate throughout the user's journey, discover which pages are getting the most visits, where are people exiting the websites the most to kind of narrow down okay, maybe this specific page has to have some changes in terms of the layout or maybe adding some call to actions because users seem to be jumping off this page more rather than this page we kind of want to figure out why so this is something that you will be able to do with google analytics as well as google search console uh, so in this tutorial uh, we're just going to walk you through the process one by one setting it up it's going to be very very simple but if you have no idea on how to do it i do recommend you to watch the video throughout it will add value to your website give you more stats behind your website and also give you just a overall better overview of where you are at in terms of your website traffic oh, with that being said if you could also smash the like button down below make sure you join our discord channel if you have any additional questions and just chat along with other people from the channel and also make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any other content in terms of Wix or just website design in general, SEO, digital marketing, whatever it is, it will be on this channel right here. So make sure you do subscribe. And we also do live streams where I walk you through and review your website. So if you want to be part of those live streams as well, make sure you are subscribed and join the Discord channel as well. But with that being said, let's just jump into this video and hopefully you guys enjoy. So the first thing you want to make sure that you do when we are setting up our search console as well as our Google Analytics is that you want to make sure you're logged into your Wix website. So in this case, I'm on my website here uh, that we usually use for our tutorials here on the channel. Uh, so it will be hi my blog. And then we have myname.com, which is the domain for our website. So just make sure you are logged into your website in the right place of your website. And once you are inside the menu or dashboard right here, what you want to make sure you do is that you go over to the side right here where you have marketing and SEO. Keep in mind that the layout right here is possibly going to change, which is always changing its layout. So it could potentially be different here. Uh, what we want to make sure we do right here is just go to marketing and SEO. Then we, where we want to go from here is just going to be in SEO tools. Under SEO tools, we'll have our site verification here on the side. So we'll, let's just go over to site verification. Once we are in site verification, we'll have a few different places that we can actually verify our website from. So we have Search Console, we have Pinterest, we have Bing Webmaster Center and Jandex as well. Here, what will be the most relevant for you in most of the cases will be Search Console. I do recommend you to set up the other ones as well. It's never going to hurt you. It only takes a few seconds to do. Uh, but in this video, for, for sake of time and for sake of complexity, what we'll just do is set up our Google Search Console right here. So what we want to do in order to set this up is just click on Google Search Console and then it will ask us for the site verification tag. So here in most cases is where you will be questioning. Where do I get the site verification tag? Well, what we have to do here is that we have to go and open up our Google Search Console. So once you are in Search Console, I'll make sure I link it down below so you can find it. Otherwise, just Google it and you can find it in the first few results in Google. Uh, but in this case, we'll just want to go over to our Google Search Console. In here, we have the option to verify with two different ways, either our domain or your URL prefix. What we want to do here is just paste our full URL that we have, including HTTPS and www. And then this will be my domain for my website, which is gustaverickson.com. Once I've put that in here, what we can do is just go ahead and click on continue. This will then go ahead and verify what's going on with the website. And we'll then open up this window right here, which is saying verify that you own the site. What we want to look for is going to be the HTML tag down here. So in the HTML tag, you will have this verification code you want to copy. In this case, I'm going to have to blur this because this is going to be my personal one from my website. But you, what you want to do here is just copy the verification tag that you have and then go back over to VIX and paste it right here. Once you have pasted it, you can just go ahead and click on save. Once you have clicked on save, you can go back to Google Search Console and you can go back and click on verify right here. 
Once that is verified, you'll see this ownership was verified and the website is now part of your property. So what you can do is just click on visit the property right here. And now this is how your search console will look like. Now, because we just added our website to Google Search Console, we're not gonna have data here. So it's gonna take a few days before we get our data. But from Search Console, you'll have with the overview of the traffic that you are getting from Google. And you can also see the keywords you're ranking for, your average keyword position, how many clicks, your click-through rate, so on and so forth. So you will get a lot of different things that you can use throughout Search Console. You can also test your live URLs to see how they are performing and so, so much more. What you can also do in Search Console that we might just cover now because it just takes a few seconds is that you can add your sitemap to Google Search Console so Google can find all the different URLs that you have on your website, making sure that all the different URLs are indexed within Google. Uh, so what you do is just go over to sitemaps right here, then you'll have your domain name.com slash and then you enter the location of your sitemap in most cases it will be just sitemap.xml so what you can do is just type sitemap.xml and then click on send and that will then just pull the data from your sitemap from your website okay it said it wasn't working but it's not working so obviously it will take a few seconds to to start working as well and i might even have a password lock on my website so that's part of it as well uh, but once you have your sitemap in here that's all you need to do. It will then just automatically update and index the pages that you have within your sitemap. By going back over to Wix again, we have verified our ownership of Google Search Console. The other ones are just as straightforward. Just go onto these platforms individually and find the verification tag you have to include. Now, jumping over to Google Analytics, we are going to go through a similar process here. What we want to make sure we do is go over to the side right here and then I think we'll have a, a tab which is called, yes, marketing integrations. Uh, so just jump over to marketing integrations right here. And then what we'll have is that we have Google Analytics, we have our Google Ads, Facebook Pixel, Facebook Catalog, Google Tag Manager, Gendex Metrica, as well as as does text. What we want to focus on here is gonna be just as before Google Analytics. So what we do is just go ahead and click on connect. Once we have clicked on connect, this will load up for us in just a second. Now, this is just going to go on loading for forever. Uh, but what we want, what is important here is that we want to add our tracking code for Google Analytics. So what you want to do now is make sure you head over to Google Analytics. Once you are on the Google Analytics website, make sure you log into the right account that you want to use. In my case, I have an example account here that we're going to use for this example. But once you are logged in, make sure you go into administrator here at the bottom. Then what you can do is that you click on the create a property here at the top. So we make sure we click on create a property and then we're going to do that right now. When we are creating a new property, what we'll say here is we'll have our create web property. So name of the property. In this case, you can add any type of name. This is just for you to understand what we, what this property is tracking. So in this case, I would recommend you just add the name of the domain. So it's going to be gustaverickson.com. Let's see if we can use dot in here. Yes, we're allowed to. That's perfect. Then for the time zone, just pick the time zone that you are currently in. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep it as the US, even though I'm definitely not in the US. And then for the currency, I would recommend you to pick the currency that you use within your company. So either if you charge your customers in dollars, then keep it as dollars. But if you charge them in euros or if you charge them in yeah, no idea what other currencies, but whatever currency you're charging your customers in, make sure you have the right currency set up here. Then we want to make sure we click on the view advanced options here as well. And we want to make sure we highlight to create universal analytics property. That's what we want to make sure we add right here. So what we do is just highlight this one right here. And then we add the name or the domain of our website, which is going to be www.gustaverickson.com dot com and that will be my domain name and here you want to make sure you tick create only a universal analytics property because that's what we want for our website once that is done click next here you can add some additional information to google about your business it's not necessary but you still have to fill it out so just pick whatever you want in here in my case i'll just pick computers and electronics I'll put my company size as small and then here you can put anything you really want. In my case, let's say I want to increase my conversions on my website. Once you have picked these options, make sure you go ahead and click on create. And once that is finished setting up, what we'll have right here is our tracking ID. So 
I think I will translate for us right now. Perfect. Um, so what we'll have right here is our tracking ID. So make sure you copy this one. I'll obviously blur this out because it's going to be personal to your account. So make sure you don't give anyone your tracking IDs because someone will be able to get, get your data. Uh, but just copy your tracking ID right here. Go back over to Wix. Then on Wix, you'll have this button right here which says Google Analytics. Even though the content down here is not loading for us right now, what you want to do here is just click on the connect to Google Analytics, paste your tracking code, and then once that is done, go ahead and click on save. Once that is done, your Google Analytics has successfully been connected as well. So now you have your GA, so your Google Analytics connected to your website as well as Search Console as well. So this will give you the fundamentals in terms of analyzing your traffic, making sure that Google can find your pages that you have on your website as well. So making sure your indexing is up and making sure that you can track the traffic that is coming in towards your website as well. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure you left a like down below. Or if you didn't like the video, if you didn't figure out how to set it up, leave a dislike and then also leave a comment on your issue that you're having. I try to answer as many comments down below as I can. And also do make sure you press the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any other content just like this one. But with that being said, this is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next video.